Hey, what's up folks? In this video, we're taking a look at Adafruit's Clue dev board. This features the same shape and size like the BBC Microbit, so it'll work with existing add-ons. Adafruit's Clue has a 1.3 inch IPS display, so you can make projects with text and graphics. It's packed with tons of sensors like an accelerometer, gyroscope, magnetometer, pressure, temperature, and much more. It features the NRF52840 with a Cortex-M4 processor and 2 megabytes of internal flash. It also has a PDM microphone, speaker, NeoPixel, and a Stemma connector so you can plug and play even more sensors. With Bluetooth, you can make wireless projects that control your BLE devices. For example, you can control your phone using Apple's music service to play, pause, and even change the volume. With Adafruit CircuitPython, you can make cool projects using Adafruit's libraries and demo code. The Learn Guide has all the documentation you need and examples so you can quickly get your projects up and running. With CircuitPython, your code and libraries live on the board like a USB drive so you can access your code on any computer. This makes development really fast because you don't have to compile the code so you can see your updates almost instantly. So get a clue and start learning how to sense the world around you. We designed and 3D printed a case for the Clue so you can easily wear it like a badge or a watch. It has enough room for a LiPo battery so you can make your projects portable. You have access to the edge connector so you can use the touchpads as controls for your projects. You can get the parts to build this project, links are in the description. The bezel is attached to the front of the case to keep the display nicely secured. You can use flexible filaments to 3D print the wristbands. Tabs on the end press fit into the slits on the side of the case. It features multiple holes so you can adjust it to fit your wrist. Use a slide switch with a JST adapter to turn the clue on and off. The clue board is installed into the case without any hardware screws. The slide switch is press fitted into the built-in holder. You can easily connect and disconnect the battery using the JST adapter. The back cover snap fits onto the case and keeps everything nicely secured. The built-in tab lets you reset so you can easily upgrade the firmware. Use the slit on the end to tuck in the bands to keep it nice and tight. You can also attach the case to a lanyard so you can wear it to your next conference. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more products from Adafruit.